Hello everyone, this is Jiyoung Kim and I'm a Container Specialist Solutions Architect here at Amazon Web Services. This is a series of Lightning Talk on ECS and Fargate. This series aims to get to know Amazon ECS, which is fully managed container orchestration service and helps easily deploy, manage, and scale your containerized application. This is very first, so today we will go through ECS three core components, which are cluster, service, and task. You can see each component correlation in here. In a bit more detail, cluster is a logical grouping of services and tasks in specific AWS region. In terms of ECS service, it means one or more identical tasks. Service maintains your desired number of tasks simultaneously in ECS cluster. You can enhance the availability of certain service by provisioning multiple tasks. And lastly, task is the smallest unit of execution which has one or more containers. In this video, we will focus on creating ECS cluster in AWS console. ECS service and task will be discussed later. Let's jump into new ECS console and build a ECS cluster. I already logged into console and headed to ECS page. Click the create cluster button. And I told that ECS cluster is a logical grouping of tasks and services. So, your tasks and service are running on the top of the ECS cluster. Name the cluster like ECS Blueprint Cluster and Configure Networking. I already created ECS Blueprint VPC for this cluster. You can see there are two each of public and private subnet. We will provision ECS service one of these subnet. And for the next step, associate namespace for service discovery. I've created one ahead, but you can create it right now. In infrastructure section, since we will concentrate on Fargate, leave it as a default. And then, I activate Container Insight to collect related metrics and logs. At last, uh, review all configuration and create the cluster. It's quite easy, right? Let's say you are trying to start container workload in Amazon ECS, and then the order of execution is first, create ECS cluster. Second, create test definition with one or more container images and specify a couple of parameters such as CPU, memory amount. For the next step, provision ECS service with test definition. You can set up the basic frame of your container workload just in a few steps. This is all I have to share today. Um, thanks for watching Lightning Talk on ECS and Fargate. See you next time.